Hey teacher fam, today, first of all, happy new year. And today we're gonna show you how to embed Google Slides into Canvas or any other site that you wanna embed it into. Uh, this comes from one of our most popular videos, how to embed a Bitmoji Classroom, which are built on Google Slides usually into Canvas. So we're gonna go through today. Uh, there's multiple ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the best way. Thanks for joining and let's jump in. All right, everybody, we are here on my Canvas homepage. Actually, this is my wife's course, and we are going to embed this slide. So it's a new Google slide. Um, if you want, you can hit Command D and copy those slides. So you can just see, uh, I started with one, but there's two. So you can embed a slide deck, not just a single slide. I'm gonna do it on a new Canvas page. So just to go from beginning to end, I'm gonna hit pages. You're gonna look for this uh, button, view all pages, and then you're gonna get the plus page icon at the top right. And I'm gonna hit that. Now I can give it a title. I'm gonna call this um, January 1st, 2022. And then here you have a box, and this is where your slide is gonna go, but you can't just put the image in because you wanna be able to embed the slide so that if you change it in Google Drive, it changes here and that's one of the benefits and the beautiful things about um, using Google Slides embedded in Canvas. So right down here at the bottom you see this um, brackets. If I hover over, hover over it, it says click or shift click for the HTML editor. So I'm going to click and you'll see this number one appears. This is a new update in the last year or so for Canvas that shows you it numbers the lines of code to help you kind of keep track. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna hit file and I'm gonna say publish to the web, link or embed. Now we've been talking about embedding, but you could put a link that would put this online, but we're gonna embed it. Um, I don't wanna auto advance the slides. Um, so I'm gonna uncheck this start slideshow as soon as the player loads. I'm gonna use the medium size for canvas and uh, I'm gonna hit publish. Now, once it says, are you sure? I say, okay. Once I hit publish, I get access to this embed code. It's already highlighted. So I'm gonna hit Command C, or if you're on Windows machine, Control C. You can also right click and look for the copy command. And I'm gonna come back to Canvas and I'm gonna simply right click and hit paste. Now I'm gonna hit see a bunch of gobbledygook HTML code. That's okay, we're in the HTML editor and if you flip back to the visual editor, you'll see your slides up here. Now uh, you'll see there's a little bit of black right here on the edges. There are ways to fine tune how the slides present, but let's just go ahead and say save and publish. And here you have your Google Slides embedded in Canvas with the title you gave it. Let's add it to a module. So I'm gonna to go to modules uh, because you didn't just create this uh, page for nothing. Um, I don't have a module created. I'll call it home. And then uh, we have a home module here. It says, uh, let's go ahead and publish that. And then let's say add page. And then we're gonna look for the one that we call January 1, 2022, add item. It's gonna put it there. We're gonna go home. Uh, we're gonna go back to modules and we'll see it is right there in our modules. All right, this course wasn't really set up to use modules. It's more demo for, for you all, but that's how easy it is to embed Google Slides into uh, Canvas. Uh, but let's do another one. Let's do um, sample geometry lesson Google Slides. All right, here's one. This is from Miss Molson, and it is the min, my no, my not, why not my not? It's, it's from University of Montana, my not, I guess. Here's the slides. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy for myself, um, entire presentation, and I'm using this teacher's resources, embedding it in my course. This is how easy it is to do. Same step, file, publish to the web, embed, these defaults are okay, leave these unchecked, hit publish, okay, and now I'm gonna right click and copy or command C or control C on Windows, go back to um, Canvas, and I'm gonna go to pages, 
uh, view all pages, doing this second time because rep repetition is powerful, geometry lesson, hit the embed code or the HTML editor, you see the line number one here, paste it in, hit that uh, visual, switch to visual editor so you can see it, and then you're gonna go save and publish. And then again, this appears in our list of pages. Uh, you can see it right here under geometry lesson. But let's say we wanna add it to a module, we click modules, and then we, uh, we're gonna add, use a plus symbol, switch to pages, we're gonna add a page called geometry lesson to this module. So now when we go to this module, these pages are in this order automatically, and uh, that's it. That's it, all right, January. Now when I hit the next button, I go to the geometry lesson. There it is. Now you'll be able to toggle through the uh, slides in this deck using the built-in embedded Google slide navigation. Pretty cool. All right. Thank you for joining. This channel provides tutorials on Canvas and Bitmoji Classroom, Google's uh, apps. Uh, my wife and I are both in education, so we appreciate your support and let us know in the comments what kind of tutorials or questions you have need for and we will uh, plan accordingly. Uh, thanks. See you soon. Peace.